You know that feeling when you wake up in the morning and you're late for work already and you think you have no time for breakfast because it's gonna take too long? Well, today I'm bringing you three great breakfast ideas that are all high protein and good for your goals that you can make in under three minutes each. Welcome back to Live Lean TV for Women. I'm your host, Jessica Rumba, and I'm here to help you live lean. Today, I'm bringing you some easy, quick to make breakfast ideas that are all high protein and good for burning fat and getting lean. So come with me and you'll never worry about breakfast taking too long ever again. The first one we're gonna make is a protein smoothie because liquid nutrition is always easy to grab and go on the road. I recommend this if you have a long commute in the car, just make a liquid beverage that you can sip on your way there. It's much easier than trying to eat with a fork in the car. So I'm going to set my clock to prove to you that this is less than three minutes. Are you guys ready? Here we go, I'm a little nervous. On your mark, get set, and go. Smoothie making time. So I'm gonna go to my freezer. I'm gonna grab some frozen bananas, some frozen berries, and, man, I should've opened this earlier. Okay, I'm gonna grab my measuring cup. I've got a one cup measuring tool here. One cup of berries goes in the blender. One frozen banana. I always have these ingredients in my freezer for times like this. I'm gonna go grab my cup of protein powder. Of course this is optional, but you guys know we recommend you have protein with every meal. That's why protein powder really comes in handy, especially when you're in a rush. I'm gonna grab my water jug. Whoops, where's my measuring cup? I left it in the berries. See, I'm all stressed out. I know I'm on the clock, but I know you have mornings like this and you understand where I'm coming from. Okay, we got one cup of water, and that should do it. Of course, you can put more water if you want it to be more liquidy. Wait, one more thing. My spinach, because you know, spinach is good for the muscles. And if you guys didn't already know this, you always want to throw in some greens. When you're having a high protein meal, this is great for alkalizing it to your body and also adding some additional fiber which helps your digestive system process that protein. So you guys ready? shaker cup and guess what I'm ready to start my day I'll wash the dishes later let me check the clock and I'm done so I finished with like 43 seconds to spare so that was two minutes and 15 seconds and I have a healthy breakfast for on the go mm, delicious Moving on to breakfast number two. This one is a version of the PFF breakfast and you don't know what I'm talking about. You probably haven't been watching our vlogs, daily vlogs right here, but PFF is kind of another version of the meat and nuts breakfast that you guys have seen for so long. It's protein, fiber, and fat, which is really what the meat and nuts breakfast is. You just wanna make sure that you have covered all those bases. Any source of protein will do, any source of fiber, and then any source of fat. So for today's quickie, I'm gonna do some hard boiled eggs from last night that I boiled, and then I'm gonna use a piece of fruit as my fiber, and some walnuts for those healthy fats. I'm also going to make a blended coconut oil coffee to kind of add a little bit more calories because this is a pretty light breakfast. So if you want to sustain yourself throughout the day, give yourself some calories early in the day. So you guys ready? I'm gonna set the clock. You're witnessing this here, no edits to this video. I'm gonna put this breakfast together in under three minutes and it's gonna be ready to come with me on my way to work. All right, ready, set, and go, okay. First thing I need to do is boil the water. So I put warm water from the faucet into there and I'm going to get my coffee cup and coconut oil. This is my coffee and I need a filter. This is how we make our coffee at the Living House, guys. We don't even have a coffee machine. 
We just do it old school by taking one scoop and putting it in a filter like that. All right, so water is boiling. I'm gonna get the eggs and the walnuts ready. So I've got my eggs that I boiled last night. I recommend you do these the last thing at night because it's really nice to wake up to already made food. It just makes your day so much easier. So I'm gonna grab two plastic baggies. The first one is going to have my eggs. One, two. You know, and depending on your nutrition plan, you may want more or less food than this. This is just a rough guideline of how I would prepare for myself. So I'm gonna take the quarter cup measure, get about a quarter cup of raw nuts. Ooh. How are we doing on time? Almost there. So these are pretty much the main components of your meal. And then I'm going to add in either an apple or a banana. I like apples for the road because bananas tend to bruise. So I'm gonna put an apple with mine. And my water is boiling, so here goes the coffee. Let's see if I can get this under three minutes. Okay, so we need that to brew. In the meantime, I'm gonna take one tablespoon of coconut oil, drop it in the blender. If you haven't tried this type of coffee yet, you're missing out, it's so good. Almost there. How much time do I have? 45 seconds, I think I can do it. Blender goes on. I gotta get my to-go cup. Here's my fancy to-go cup with my name on it. All right, all right, all right, here we go. Coffee's in the blender. Lid on. And I have myself a creamy, delicious coffee to go. Wah, lid, and pause. Yes, I did it. Here's my breakfast to go. So I'm gonna throw all these things in my backpack or my gym bag and I am all set. This is a healthy, nutritious, and complete breakfast that took me two minutes and 59 seconds to make. On to breakfast number three. This one I call last night's dinner. We're gonna reheat the leftovers from whatever we ate last night. So usually it's some source of protein. Today it's gonna be chicken and then some sweet potatoes and of course some greens. I'll use spinach for this one. So basically I just throw everything in a saute pan, heat it up and then put it back in a Tupperware and take it to go. Ready? Ooh, let me start the clock. Honest, this is gonna be under three minutes. You ready, set, and here we go. So the first thing is to grab my fresh spinach and then I've got chicken leftover and my leftover sweet potatoes. And I come over here to the stove. Whoops, I'm, I'm gonna use the front one. Here we go. Turn it on to like a medium heat here. And then honestly, just opening up these and dumping them into the pan. So I'm gonna take about one cup of this sweet potato mixture. It already has some spinach in it, but I'm actually gonna add more spinach because I love to have a lot of greens. Like I said, with any protein, just make sure that you have plenty of green things to go with it. So I'll put that in there. And then I'm gonna use a spatula to stir it around just until that spinach wilts a little bit and it heats up. Get back in there. I'm telling you guys, cooking in bulk the night before is seriously a diet saver. Like this is the only reason why I'm able to maintain a healthy diet all the time is because I always have good food in my fridge. So it's all about preparing and planning for things, knowing that life is gonna get busy and then just making it happen, you know? Be creative with your solutions instead of just saying that you can't 
you figure out a way that you can. So hopefully these ideas are inspiring you. And hopefully this cooks in under three minutes. I'm working on it. And you know, remember all this food is pre-cooked, so it doesn't really have to cook. You're just warming it so that it tastes good. And it's more appetizing that way. So how am I doing on my time there? Got 59 seconds left, so I'm gonna give this about another 30 seconds. And then what I'm gonna do is just reuse my Tupperware. And so I can add a fork and then take it to work with me. That looks good to me. Spinach is a little wilted there. I'm just throwing it back into my container. And you know what, if you have more time in the morning, then go ahead and grab a fork and sit down and eat this right away. But this is for you guys who are in a super hurry. Turn the stove off, put the lid back on it, and grab a fork. And done. 16 seconds to spare, and I have a healthy and delicious meal of chicken, sweet potato, and greens right there. I've just proved to you that three healthy breakfast ideas can be made in under three minutes in your morning, and that's from start to finish under three minutes. It's pretty incredible when you think about all the possibilities you can do in such a quick time as long as you prepare yourself and make sure you grocery shop and plan for success. If you're interested in seeing more recipe ideas that are quick, easy, affordable, and healthy, we have a whole library on our Inner Circle member site called teamlivelean.com and I also have a nutrition plan in liveleanformulaforwomen.com that has tons of great breakfast and lunch and dinner and snack recipes in there as well. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time with another episode. This is Jess from Live Lean TV for Women and I love you so much. Thank you for watching. I thought we'd have a little tea time chat today and I'd tell you about the topic of counting calories.